Let's say that will be the last time this gets pulled in with gasoline. We got that one over there. The old YJs. Oh yeah. All right. From your lane right down here. So what do we want to do with this? Let's get rid of the power steering. Let's get rid of the alternator. Actually, we'll add power steering a different way. But let's get rid of. How about we just get rid of everything in here? We could start. Yeah. So you know, we're doing the electric on this one. Um, you know, there's actually a lot more room than I was expecting. Here's our cardboard boxes. Oh yeah. Especially since this is the four cylinder model, we'll get rid of the giant fan shroud. It'll pick up a lot of room. Yeah. The, the fan shroud definitely takes up the, the, the amount of room that the engine itself does. Mm -hmm. You ready to take on a little bit more on this one? Oh yeah. I love these old wedges. Oh yeah. Kind of makes me want to have another one. Fully electric. It'll be a stark difference because these little two fives are so underpowered. Yeah. And, you know, this guy, he wants to, I mean, you can see it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, I kind of like the, the character it has. It's definitely um, got plenty of it, but he just wants to poke around his farm down in South Missouri and have it as a, you know, an off-road one of a kind side by side golf cart that's electric, you know. All right, so we got all of our stuff here outside of the uh, Silver Sport transmission. That's going in a um, 73 Corvette that's coming in soon. Getting an LS, not electric motor, but I really want to do an electric Corvette. So if anybody out there wants to pay for me to do an electric Corvette, let me know. And speaking of gasoline, get this out of here. We don't need that. All right, Austin, quiz time. Get over here. Uh oh. Do you know why this is here? Coolant. Keep things cool. Yes, so they use, and it even says Tesla, this is this cheating, but it uses European coolant. Remote fluid cooler, you know what mm -hmm. that is? Made in America. Oh, charger. So he gets a charger that um, goes on the wall, so like the wall charger. You know what that is? Also a charger. Yes, but on the onboard charger. You know what that is? That is a BMS. Yes. BMSS on it, but <laughs> what part of the BMS is this? That would be one of the slave ones, which is a extremely close satellite. Satellite, sorry. Same thing works because you got the master and then the slaves after it, but yeah. We call the um, dual motor setups master and slave motors. This one should be easy. Display. Yep, and I do believe we're missing a part for you, it? Started off right. This bad boy is going to be our transmission adapter. Mm -hmm, which cool. The motor, as you can see underneath it, goes to that. Is that our main BS? No. It's the MCU. Wow. So this controls. It's got the CAN bus in here. It's got um, pretty much everything that runs all the systems together. And, uh, you know, BMS is on here, talks to the motors, talks to um, the charging port, the J port, and um, also has a 12 volt out, which will turn things on. So when, you know, <clears throat> you plug it in, you don't have the key on, so you don't want some things on key only, but you want some things that aren't always on 12 volts. So you'll have a 12 volt out of this, that way, like when you plug it in, keys off your um, DC to DC charger or a converter will continue to charge the 12 volt battery without the key on and all that because you know we don't want that 12 volt battery dying right in the middle of uh, charging switch or no that's contactor mm -hmm. this is our controller inverter motor controller so we didn't have this on the Lotus, but oh. this is a um, screen for the motors. 
compact display. Yep. What's that last piece? I know where it is. I'm not looking at it because it's the only thing left in the system. Do you know what it is without looking at it? What's left in the system? You guys are hard one. That charger has got the battery controller. It's something really simple. <laughs> and I don't remember what it is. It takes power and turns it into power. Converter. Mm hmm. So, uh, which kind of converter? High voltage to low voltage. DC to DC. DC. Yep. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Very hodgepodge way of going through everything, but mm -hmm. we're doing that uh, Wrangler as an EV. Can't wait to show you more. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Boom. Nailed it. <laughs>